and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today I'll be going over something pretty interesting. As you guys see by the title, Ultimate Legend is coming soon. Now, if you guys know what Ultimate Legends is, <clears throat> guys, it's one of the most fun pro one of the most fun continuous. I should I don't want to call it a promo, one of the most continuous streams of content per year. So Ultimate Legends is pretty much the legends of every Saturday, but they've now become Ultimate Legends. Ultimate Legends are the end game level of these legends. So these are the cards that literally you could pick up any single one of them and probably have them on your team the rest of the year. I love this stuff. You guys know I love end game cards now. Ultimate Legends, typically they started about 97 overall. The first drop probably like 97s and 98s. Typically the first drop about eight players total. So last year on the day Ultimate Legend drop, which was a Saturday, it was eight total players. I think it was like 298s and like 697s. The first batch is usually really big. And then after that, they'll drop like regular Legends, like two a week, four a week. It just depends on how they want to do it. Ultimate Legends, usually you can expect a lot from them. They're going to be end game cards. So last year we, we saw Calvin Johnson and Sean Taylor in the first Ultimate Legend drop. Now, Calvin Johnson and Sean Taylor were 98 overalls, and they only went for about 500k, so they were super... Well, first they went for 800k, then they came down to about 500k. So they, were, they weren't that expensive for cards of that level. Will we see a Calvin in the first drop? I don't know. Will we see a Calvin in Ultimate Legends? More than likely, so you guys can be expecting probably some banger level Calvin at some point. But Ultimate Legends is super cool. And I just wanted to make it known that I will be doing a weekend-long amount of giveaways for the Super Bowl weekend. Figure this will be one exciting thing, because this is the pinnacle of the whole year. Super Bowl is the greatest moment of the NFL season to begin with. So, it comes down to this final weekend of giveaways. Now, the way we we'll running this giveaway is going to be super simple, similar to Poodmas. Going to be coin rewards, maybe gift cards, depending on how I'm feeling and depending on the day, maybe for the Super Bowl. We'll see, though. But I'm thinking coins. I got my coin stack up right now. So, I'm thinking the way I'm going to run this is just like this. So, pretty much every day, I post about three videos a day. So, that's probably about 12 videos. Oh, nine videos from Sunday to Sunday. We're going to have three today, three tomorrow, three Sunday. For every video that gets above 700 likes, which I think is a pretty good goal because we can. I've seen you guys get 800 without even me giving you a giveaway. If we can get 700 likes on any video over the course of this week, because that's nine total videos, I will give away 100,000 coins per video that gets over the 700 likes. So pretty much all you have to enter is go down below, hit the like button, comment down below anything that you want, as well as a way to contact you, preferably a Twitter DM. Or if you forget to comment, that's fine because I'll say your name out loud when you win and you can go hit me up on Twitter. So 100K for every video that gets over 700 likes on a video. So again, you can go back, go back to today's 1030 video. That video gets it, I'll count. Go back to any video today that you're gonna see today and remember it goes all weekend. So you must be subscribed to the channel to win. You must have commented down below and give me a way to contact you. Again, we can get week work around the third part and we have to hit 700 likes. And if no video ends up hitting it throughout the weekend, I'll probably still give away for like one just for you guys. but. That's going to be a potential of nine different winners. A very good chance. Not the biggest channel. So good luck, guys. Enjoy. Hopefully, you guys win. And remember, you must be subscribed. So come join the family. We're going to ride this out to hopefully 20K. Now, boys, enjoy your Super Bowl weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the video. So Ultimate Legends, if you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much Legend Saturday overall. It's Legend Saturday, but now the card, it's usually a cool card, like a black and orange reddish scheme. That's kind of what it is. And it's kind of like the Legend promo all over again, except everything's going to convert to Ultimate Legend stuff. So... What you typically can expect, right, for starters, like a basis that you can't, like the floor of this promo, you're going to pretty much see a lot of recycled legends. There'll be some new ones, like maybe a Calvin as a wide receiver, but you'll definitely see a new Ken Houston, like 97 overall. You're going to see a Mel Blunt probably at some point. Now, the guys who recently got cards like Blunt and Marvin Harrison, probably not yet. Marcus Allen is a guy that I think will be getting a spe specifically will be getting an ultimate legend card because he hasn't gotten an upgrade all year. And he was one of the first legends. He was like one of the first legends drop, maybe like a day one legend. So I think... Marcus Allen will probably get one of the first ones. Now, typically, like I said, the first drop's usually about like six to eight. So we can't expect they'll be dropping a few. Maybe John Elway, Reggie White makes sense. Jerry Rice, Lawrence Taylor. All these guys will get Ultimate Legend cards. We know that. So if you guys have any legends that you've liked, you've been waiting for an upgrade, this is the promo for it. Now, this promo typically lasts from... Typically, this promo is dropped the week after the Super Bowl. But as you guys might have saw on Twitter, Kralo, the community manager, tweeted out that this monthly rewards for the month of January going to February for Weekend League is going to include Ultimate Legend rewards. So that implies that if they're coming out next Friday, Ultimate Legend should have dropped already. So we're assuming it's tomorrow Saturday, and at worst case scenario, it'll be next Saturday. But we're thinking it could be tomorrow. Now, they did retire the Legends. So that usually means when the Legends are done, Ultimate Legends are coming. 
now these pretty much go from now it's almost the end of the year they go pretty much a long period of their well, as long as you guys are probably playing madden that's as long as i'll probably be here now if you guys have any legends you've been waiting for upgrades they'll be getting them at some point now aaron Rodgers and these guys i don't know they might i don't think they'll get them because these are playoff ltds so or playoff legends so the playoff legends i don't think you can expect them to get ultimate legends but everyone else like Corey dylan and back those guys probably will end up getting another reimbursement and a new car that will make up for all the time waiting for upgrading them cool guys i'm gonna show you guys the ultimate legend tier one and tier two reveal they, they have both on here the only thing is that it starts off a little bit blurry at the end you can see it so this one's gonna be for the lower cards and the top one's gonna be for the more expensive cards and it's super cool that mud is able to get these so let's start with the tier one um tier one reveal remember it's kind of blurry it's a little bit at first and it kind of fixes itself a little bit so let's see what the first one looks like so for a low piece it look just like that which is a pretty cool animation a typical legend animation now let's look at the ultimate legend tier two this is the bigger one when you pull a full legend so in theory it's just when you when you know you got a full one or potentially one above a 90 i don't know if it's gonna work like that if like the pieces are 90s i hope it doesn't do that but this is it looks just like the full legend reveal but with the big x is now a different color more like yellowish gold orangey super cool though here you go let me rewind it a little bit so you guys can see it definitely really cool i really like this animation of the little the arrows that come in i really like this it's a pretty cool animation but that's pretty much it for that let's get back to the rest of the vid ultimate legend packs will be coming to the store too ultimate legend packs typically just replace the legend packs they're typically pretty glitchy definitely a lot better than legend packs they do guarantee ultimate legend pieces people usually love them so expect that they're usually around the same price maybe slightly more coinage but that's about it as far as that goes now like i said cradle did not pretty much confirm that it will be at least in the, within the next week whether it be tomorrow or the next saturday which is at seven to eight day span anyways so it's not gonna be that long even if we have to wait for thinking tomorrow now last year let me give you a full list of the first eight guys dropped i do have it here in my notes i had it written down for you guys so ultimate legend last year we got bill romanowski linebacker for the broncos javon curse and for the titans and these were all 97 i'm pretty sure morton anderson who i believe was the kicker for the raiders or i don't know it might have been the falcons then we got ray guy who's a punter randall mcdaniel which i believe is a defensive tackle then the 298s were sean taylor and calvin johnson which were super cool to drop initially their ultimate legends have crazy stats guys and then anthony Muniz, which is another 97 so that was eight then after that they had like lawrence taylor they always drop a michael vick so expect expect the mutt 10 players some of those guys too like mutt 10 will probably get them michael vick always gets a car pretty early on calvin you're gonna see a lot there's gonna be a lot of stuff julius peppers that might be his first upgrade which kind of sucks it took this long but that's kind of the bulk of what ultimate legend stands for but pretty much just take the legend the legends promo and the legend continuous amount of content it's pretty much just that but upgraded like take it takes to the next level right so i'm gonna take you guys on over to mudhead real quick to show you guys a lot of the cards you can be expecting so you guys can have an idea what the ratings and stats are looking like on these cards all right so as you guys can see here let's go down to the bottom which should there's 18 pages of these guys so a lot of them are lower pieces so let's go back to the beginning beginning because you'll probably see the order in which they were pretty much dropped so starting off we end up around here so as you can see bill romanowski right here 86 speed uh, bill romanowski was one of the worst ones like one of the ones that people didn't like because of speed let's go to a better one like let's go let's go find let's see which one of the first ones so like ladanian thompson was a pretty solid one 94 speed again remember speed was not like bo jack's 97 speed we did not have that last year so don't look at the speed as the first determinant of like whether you think it's worth it let's go to calvin you guys probably want to see the calvin johnson calvin johnson jr 94 speed 98 jumping 95 catch and traffic 96 spec i mean 98 spec 96 catch stats weren't as accelerated this year uh, last year as they were this year some cards have been a lot better some cards have been a lot worse it's really been weird how they do the rating system Tony Gonzalez, obviously a beast. Looks similar to the card he currently has. Deion Sanders, as you can see, 98 man, 98 zone, 98 speed, 98 excel. Pretty much everything's going to be 99 chemmed up. Deion was an absolute monster. You guys, this is going to break the game. Sean Taylor, going to have 100 hit power. Oh, 99 hit power. Going to have almost 99 zone, close to 99 speed, 99 excel. These cards become very, very good. Michael Vick, another one, 94 speed, which I think the next Michael Vick might have a slightly better speed because his current one had like a 92 or 93. So I think his next card will probably have like a 96 speed. And then again, all the strong stats get above 90. Lawrence Taylor, gonna have close to the most 99 stats, hemmed up with great, great speed. It really just depends on which, which ones drop and when they drop, because the ones that drop earlier obviously get better, uh, worse stats, and the ones that drop later get the better stats. And as we come all the way to the end, as you guys can see, let's go all the way back to page one. These are where they start. They start maxing out at about 99 overall. So as you can see, like Eddie George, again, the slower running backs are always gonna have the slower speeds. But you can pretty much see here that a lot of these cards are super overpowered. Herman Moore. Teddy Bruschi, Kevin Mawai, did I see a close-up? Yeah, Dick LeBeau. A lot of guys, these guys are just insane. Marcus Allen, 97 speed. Gonna be a super, super fun promo. It's gonna last the rest of the year. So I like this because it's kind of like 
instead of having to wait for one big promo it's gonna be weekly so you can always count on this content every saturday and as per usual guys it's gonna be lower piece ultimate legends it's gonna be decent sets too there's gonna be good packs to do it's gonna be a fun time i'll head back on over to the men's like i said there's still a chance it comes out next saturday or even friday night is the early reveal but for now we're thinking it could be tomorrow it really just depends because we do have a lot of super bowl content coming so we don't know if they want to squeeze that in but as it looks right now the way they have it set up it'd be kind of weird if we got the rewards before the ultimate legends even came out but this lasts from now on so probably like may even further it lasts pretty much as long as you guys are gonna be playing like i said i'm super excited for all this hopefully ultimate legends are super cool i'm gonna definitely pick up some now guys don't make the common mistake of blowing the load in the first day like people like last year i was like i gotta get calvin i gotta get sean taylor i need anthony moon i bought them all i was broke for a long time after that just wait a little bit they do come down in price just letting you guys know now quick advice when they first drop they're gonna be like 800k they're gonna be super expensive give them like a week until the next ultimate legend weekend and then the packs come out and people want the new ones and the hype dies down then you can then they'll start being regular like regularly i can never say that word regular disregard it they'll start being consistently a lower price after that but the first week there's so much hype around them they're such a high overall but guys, they're end game cards. You can pick up what you want. Don't pick up everyone. Pick up the ones you need, and you can really rock the rest of the year with them. Always so exciting. Hopefully, hopefully, Super Bowl promo ends goes great. Super Bowl goes great. Everything goes great, and then we get right into this. And man, I can just keep continuing, guys. I'm loving what I'm doing. I love this. Is this is nice to have a weekly nice content video on Saturdays? I love my Saturday mornings. It's always a nice time to do my Saturday Legend video. So this just adds to the fire, guys. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you go below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell to be here for all the night, the, for, all, for all the early content, and to be here for Ultimate Legends, all the advice you guys want to need, or you're gonna need. Subscribe to the channel, turn on that noti bell, come join the family. Also, guys, all you guys who have the noti bell on, make sure to also turn on YouTube notifications and your settings on your phone, so you actually get the notifications. It, it, I love when you guys pop in early. It always, is, it feels great to post a video and have all you guys showing support. So keep it up. Comment down below what you think of this. Are you excited? And give me your predictions for Ultimate Legends down below. I'll probably use that in a video at some point. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes on this video? Make sure to spam the like button. If you made it this far, let me know. I'm out. See you guys later. Enjoy the rest of the day. Peace.